Madam, are you there? Yes, I am here. Uh, thank please, you. Please, please. Thank you, Dr. Janso, for engaging me with this uh, interesting discussion. Uh, I, I will try my best to uh, share, talk small, surely. And thank you, Tajmeri, for your uh, discussion, because you, uh, you already mentioned about so many things about Bangladesh. So I don't need to do all these things. Thank you for that. So let me start with that. I'm John uh, already talked about me that I'm Fozia Nasrin Sultan. I'm working with the Bangladesh Academy for Rural Development for 20 years, almost uh, 22 years. Uh, and so we follow actually our, uh, I would like to start with a quote from our founder director. Uh, we actually emphasized, we started working on the uh, women development uh, since uh, 19, uh, late 1950s actually. So uh, when he started, with, uh, he started with the quote that when a car gets stuck in the mud, every passenger must get out and push it. Our car has got stuck, all must push it uh, now, even the women folk. So from uh, then we actually, then in Bangladesh, we started working with the women development mm -hmm. since then. So that is what I would like to just add. And you know what uh, the SDG goal five, uh, I actually included all these indicators are there. I'm not going there, but in Bangladesh, what we have in the Bangladesh government, we have national yeah, priority target. So we have for uh, uh, SDG 5, we have three national priority target, although it's an ind indicator, but in government sites, they write it as a target. So here it is, you can see the, the government is focusing on uh, child marriage issues and then <coughs> have, uh, reduction of violence uh, against women and increased labor force participation of women. So these are uh, the thing, uh, what government is thinking more, we will focus on all four indic 14 indicators of uh, goal five. However, um, Bangladesh is more emphasizing on three uh, from the prime minister office. So, the thing is that uh, what I have seen from the uh, publication progress report of the SDGs, uh, it is so surprising. If you consider all the issues related to women, you can see how they are actually presenting. The presentation is actually sub, uh, scary. See that the women in, uh, you can see the poverty. Women, uh, women are so behind in poverty reduction issues. You can see this in globally, one in three women experience moderate or severe food insecurity. So these all are actually, we need to think about. And then these are interesting points for me that uh, why we are still so behind with the women equality in all over the world. Uh, basic thing is that uh, this is also, this part is uh, surprising for me also that if we want to the peace, uh, the raise of pace of reforms on women legal rights is far too slow. See, we need 286 years to secure such overarching legal framework. So these are surprising. We all need to focus on these kind of issues. That is what I think. And uh, this, there is one, you can see all this uh, data from what I have collected from SDG progress report from the United Nations, as well as uh, from the uh, gender, uh, UNF, uh, UN women uh, sites. As well as you can see all this UN DESA sites, they also included all these issues that it would take oh. another 40 years for women and men to be represented equally in the national political leadership. And uh, I'm not going there. So let me discuss about the women leadership in Bangladesh. Tajmeri, Ms. Tajmeri already included that we have done so many things with the particularly with the 30%, 33% women leadership. But uh, with the, the way we are uh, working with the 33% women leadership in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. that is also uh, not uh, actually surprising. It, that is also a surprising issue because when we compare with India, Bangladesh or India, Pakistan, we see, see that our reservation policy is a big problem for us also. So uh, that is how I said that 
in in india i have one publication uh, compare comparative comparative research in india and bangladesh in india is 3 per 33% means you are reserving 33% in the in the in the panchayat level you are reserving the, all the seats for the women but in bangladesh 33% means it is added for example in bangladesh one union parishad means one panchayat actually the, uh, we are divided our panchayat uh, union parishad in nine wards so nine wards are general members so men and women can um, uh, submit their nomination and uh, and compete for their nomination all these things but and then we have added three more women so they think that sometimes they are actually not they are th they feel like they are auxiliary so this is a big problem with our gender issue however now implementation issue i i supposed to talk about the sdg implementation <clears throat> particularly goal 5 in bangladesh so you can see in the in my slides that there is a, uh, you see uh, we have done well in our mdg so gender parity uh, the education uh, secondary and primary education was good for us so we started with that see this is our sdg achieve, mdg achievement and then what happened uh, in the indicator um, uh, but particularly with uh, sdg5 if you consider uh, proportion of uh, ever partner women and girls in, in the sexual and physical uh, psychological violence it is still 54.2 percent so uh, but uh, so this is a scary for uh, me also and uh, in this regard and if you consider indicator 5.2.2 proportion of women girls age 15 years and older subject to sexual sexual violence by persons other than an intimate partners uh, in the previous 12 month is 2.5 percent this is, is limited but is is still if we consider 2.5 is not good we need to re reduce more actually so um, these are the status i don't like to go for there uh, this is here uh, you can see what is this all these things so what bangladesh government is doing in bangladesh government doing bangladesh government actually plan to uh, execute the um, sdgs through three five year plan and uh, the, that's why government make an action plan for each each five year plan government make action plan so what we, what does it this action plan mean actually the action plan uh, in the action plan we actually uh, uh, discuss our plan and also um, discuss what are the programs and projects government is going to take uh, 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 under each ministry so we have one ministry that is women and uh, ministry of women and children affairs so they uh, map their action plan and they had uh, submitted to the government so this how they uh, this action plan mm -hmm. actually was so i can show you one thing this is our action plan uh, you can see this this action plan for uh, women and children affairs ministry what are they are planning for next uh, this uh, eight five year plan so these are the you know how the action plan for sdg is supposed to develop so we develop this plan at the local level what did government did actually government introduced women development forum as well as uh, issues circular to spend 3% of upazila parishad upazila parishad is a sub district level local government institute so uh, they supposed to spend 3% of upazila parishad budget and 25% of upazila parishad project to be implemented through the female member of the parishad and the uh, women development forum supposed to introduce a scholarship for uh, girls students organize income generating skill training program for females organize awareness raising program rally equality issue political awareness of the women all these things this forum uh, so in my view this forum can work further actually particularly on the issues of data management bangladesh is facing severe problem with the data management so i think this uh, group can work on this issue so that is one of my suggestions to the government which i already submitted to the ministry because i am working with the same ministry the ministry of local government so uh, as i am working with the local government uh, DV, um, subject 
So it is one of my duty to give input to the government. So that is one of my input for the government also. And then what we, uh, I can, I would like to share with uh, uh, regarding one of my own project I'm working, localization as this is in Kumila. So uh, we have discussion with the uh, female actually. So what they actually said that, that is what I would like to share. The female members are particularly the local government <laughs> institute treated as auxiliary or sideline group of the local government institute. So they think that their boys are muted, they cannot talk, they are struggling actually. They cannot uh, propose social development project because they are, uh, all the projects are focusing on infrastructure development. Social development, uh, according to them, social development needs to mainstream. Uh, there is high emphasis on, in, uh, that is I already talked. This disease is not fully adapted at the local level. This is the most interesting uh, outcome from uh, our research that SDGs is not fully yet um, adopted at the local level and localizing SDGs is still at the discussion. We are still discussing. We are not uh, implementing. Uh, we saw that all the government pro project at the local level, what is that going on is that they are focusing on infrastructure, one thing. And another thing is that uh, none of the project is highly focused on the SDG. It is a, just a program government is thinking about the development initiative. So they are taking the development program and in that development program in the background paper or background or the statement of the problem, they just mention about SDG as an issue, but there is no SDG focused uh, project we found at the local level. This is one of the uh, lacking in Bangladesh at this point. Fully dedicated project is not is absent actually. And then we also found that another, if we, if we uh, strongly focus on the, uh, keenly focus on the women issue for the, uh, if we want to develop anything that we found that if we consider the violence against women is that the main problem is that about the marriage certificate they are, uh, talked about. They said that we don't have our marriage certificate, so we are actually controlled by our husband. So uh, there is no, he, uh, we don't get our marriage certificate. So that is one problem. Another issue is this 5% of rural women ever about the menstrual hygiene issue. And so may I say planning... something to you as you are I, talking? I, I, yes. I, I just wanted to say something to you. I hmm. All right. I understand maybe you're from a different part of the country <laughs> or you're from a different country. Uh, uh, Ibagir, uh, let, let her complete. Let her complete. Let her complete first. Okay. <laughs> and also, we found the gap in women entrepreneurship and self-employment and decent work for village, uh, women in village is uh, is uh, still is uh, still a problem for Bangladesh. Although we are we did so well with the micro finance micro credit issue. I'm However, it's, still, it's, the, it's the ongoing struggle for Bangladesh. So what I am planning to do at the moment, mm -hmm. other than proposing proposing governments uh, about the Women Development Forum, we are thinking oh. about a dedicated project based on the discussion with the villagers and local authority. And we are thinking about connecting budget and we know we have gender-based budget, all these things. However, at the local <laughs> level, it is not still working. So we are thinking about engaging our local authorities with the gender-based budget, engaging the adolescent club with the uh, women development issues, uh, and uh, try to uh, we'll try to focus on the issuing marriage certificate as well as engage women in agriculture supply chain. So these are basic. Uh, we, what we are thinking about uh, with our project. So I, I tried to actually uh, uh, present this discussion in this forum to get actually input on this issue because I think about Bangladesh, we all know, many of us know about Bangladesh and Ms. Tazmeri already talked about so many things that we have done a lot about our women issues and we are, uh, we are, I'm, I'm, I'm little bit, uh, it's, it's, I can say that 30% I'm happy 
so we need to focus on 70 by 70 so that is uh, my discussion and i would like to actually conclude here thank you so much for your uh, everyone uh, thank you in fact uh, in, in fact i mean uh, it is a very key that uh, local government the uh, women must be visible not only in terms of uh, what we can impose uh, empowerment in the reservation rather it should be and uh, that not the static empowerment rather dynamic empowerment the things they have taken uh, it is not only 30 percent or 50 percent reservation yeah. but sometimes it's a require uh, how much they are using this for better participation decision making process decision uh, most of the cases even it happened to that the women uh, are taking part as they, they came but uh, the male counterpart they are taking the decision even in the uh, local government but slowly slowly the things are changing uh, from uh, mere participation to the entry to the local level another so thank you